Oh, it feels good to be home at Jaeger Stadium. Under the lights, too, as we welcome Bowling Green into town this week. Our boys streaking eight wins in a row, looking to make it nine. We became bowl eligible. Now it's time to handle business against the Falcons. Offense takes the field first, first and 10. Gabbard's under center with two tight ends, Bester in the backfield. And he'll get the handoff, try to extend it out to the right, but gets no gain. His tight end, Homer, gave, gave him no block on that one. That's been the problem this year with this run game. We're not getting the blocks we need. Second and 10, two tight ends, twins to the left. It's back to the ground with Bester. He gets hit off the edge after picking up two. That's going to bring up a third and seven. Gabbard goes to the gun three wide. Walker slot left. Going to the air. Hit the wrong button. That's okay. Hip and Hammer still makes the grab for 16. That's a first down. Woo. Tough throw between the corner and the safety, but shout out to Hip and Hammer for making the grab. All right, first and 10. Gabbard in the gun, trips to the left. He's going to send uh, Bester out in motion to the right. And it's a pass. Oh, my gosh. Great blitz. Great blitz called by Bowling Green. Deontay Burns gets the sack. We had three offensive linemen that didn't block anybody. So the loss makes it second and 18. We're going to go four wide and hand it off to Bester. But look at this Bowling Green defensive line. They came to play today. Jalen loses a yard. That's Anthony Hawkins on the tackle. We're looking at a third and 19. We're perfect so far, one for one on third down. We'll go four wide, trips right. Gabbard passing. He'll roll out right. Lob it up deep. He's got Davis streaking, and he gets 50. First down, Red Hawks. What a throw from Brett Gabbard. Keeping the play alive, and Davis running downfield to make the tough grab. My apologies, ball is at the 11, so not quite first and goal yet. Gabbert comes out five wide. He's going to the air. He's got Homer across the middle. He'll dive into the end zone. Touchdown, Red Hawks. Brett Gabbert, three for three for 78 yards on that drive. Great job by the offense striking first. It's time for a studio update. We're going to head down to A&M. And an upset. Mississippi State handles business 24-22 over the Aggies. Uh, Lovetrich uh, with two touchdown passes. Krumby had six tackles and four TFLs on the day. Defense takes the field. Bowling Green comes out with two tight ends. McDonald's drops back. And he's going to get wrapped up quick. That's Dominique Robinson with the sack. He came screaming off the edge. Second and 14 now. McDonald goes under center with three wide. It's a counter. Come on. There you go, Sulla Peck. Way to make the play. Patterson gets no gain. Third and 14. Bowling Green goes four wide. It's a pass. He's looking deep. And the ball gets broken up by Weatherford. Fourth down. Great stand by this uh, Red Hawks defense. Red Hawks take back over with 4.09 left to go in the first. Gabbert comes out in the pistol, three wide. Mosey is the back. He'll take the handoff. Not getting any blocks from this offensive line is tough, man. He barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. We'll go to the pistol, three wide. Walker slot right. Bester in the backfield now. Let's play action. Here comes the blitz. Gabbert rolls out. He'll dive down after picking up three. He couldn't even throw it. Burns came screaming off the edge. Third and seven. Red Hawks perfect today. Two of two on third down. They go four wide, trips right. All staying bounds. Kevin Davis makes the catch for three, but it's short of the sticks. But Coach Johnson elects to go for it on fourth down. Fourth and four, three wide. Walker slot left. Gabbert's going to the air. He'll roll, and he's got Walker on the catch across the middle. He'll fight ahead and pick up 14. That's a first down. Here we go, offense, first to 10. Three wide, Mosey in the backfield. He'll take the handoff, cut it upfield, fall backwards and pick up five. That's the best run we've had today on the ground. Second and five, Gabbert goes to the gun, four wide. Bester checks in. He'll take the handoff. But again, they cannot block number 54. 
That's Anthony Hawkins, his second TFL on the day. So it's another third down for the Red Hawks. Two or three on the day. We'll go four wide trips right. Play action. There's Davis wide open. He'll make the grab, step out after picking up 16. First down, Red Hawks. Great patience from Gabbard on that throw. And good job by the offensive line giving him a nice pocket to throw from. This is plate number eight for the Red Hawks to come out in an empty set, five wide. Gabbard going to the air. And he's got Sorensen across the middle. He makes the tough grab and gets it to the end zone. Touchdown, Red Hawks. What a throw and an even better route from Jack Sorensen. Oh, wow. Time for a studio update. And in Toledo, Kansas, or Kent State is on top seven to nothing. That's who we play next week, so we're watching this game close. Crum with a touchdown pass already. Defense was able to force a three and out the last drive. Looking for another stop here, first and 10. McDonald comes out with trips to the right. And he's gonna keep the option to the left. Great tackle by Boswell. McDonald gets five. He had a lot more running room out there if Boswell doesn't make the play. Second and five, they're gonna spread us out four wide. Oh, you gotta make that. Come on, we've gotta make those tackles in the backfield. McDonald gets three. It's third and two. The Falcons 0 for 2 today on third down. They go trips to the left. And it's a sweep. And he barely gets the first. He broke a tackle. I thought Pace made the play. That's going to do it for the first quarter. Miami comes out, puts up two quick touchdowns, and we lead 14-0. Start of the second quarter. It's second and seven. McDonald goes trips left or trips right. It's a pass. He tries to take off and run, but Austin Ertle is there to get the sack. Butler was coming around the edge. McDonald had to step up in the pocket, and waiting for him was Ertle. Third and seven, and Red Hawks Nation started to make some noise. McDonald goes three wide in the gun. Brings his tight end motion to the left. Pass. Across the middle, the ball falls incomplete. Fourth down. Great job by the defense getting the stop. Boswell back deep to return the short punt. He'll start left, cut it back to the right, or starts right, cuts it back to the left, and gets into Falcons territory with a 36-yard return. As a fan, I would love to see the run game get going here. It's first to 10, three wide. They send a blitz and set the screen up for Bester. He'll turn up field, make one man miss get to the sideline and get 13. That's a first down. Great blocks out there by the offensive lineman. So far, Brett Gabbert, perfect on the day. Eight of eight. It's first and 10, we'll go trips to the right now. Back to the ground with Bester. He'll cut it up inside and pick up four. We're trying to stay away from big number eight on that defensive line. Second and six, Gabbert goes under center, four wide. And it's a run for Bester. He'll run right into the pile and pick up four more. Only seven yards on six carries today. It's third and two. Gabbard in the pistol, four wide trips right. He's got Sorensen split out to the left. That's where he's looking. He finds Jack on the slant, and he picks up the first down. Red Hawks back inside the red zone. New set of downs. It's first to 10. Falcons drop their safety into the box. The handoff goes to Mosey. We're not getting any movement, man. Mosey gets a yard. So after the short run, it's second and nine. We'll go three wide in the pistol. Soros is slot left. Gabbers going to the air. He looks for his favorite target, and he goes one-handed to make the grab for 12. First and goal, Red Hawks. That might be one of the best catches I've ever seen in college football. It's first and goal, four wide. And it's to the ground with Bester. He'll cut it up and dive into the end zone. Touchdown, Red Hawks. All set up by the one-handed grab from Jack Sorensen. And Bester caps off the drive. Red Hawks up on top by three scores. Time for a studio update. Back out to Toledo with Kent, Kent State up on top, 14 to six. Crum, 141 yards through the air with two touchdowns. Defense looking for another stop here. It's first and 10, they come out in the I-4. 
It's a run. Patterson with great blocks. He'll find a lane and pick up 14. That's some great blocking there from that offensive line, opening up a nice run lane. First and 10, they stay in the I form. Patterson is the back. It's a pitch out, but he's looking to throw. Rucker furlough jumps up and picks it off. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Great job by the corner, forcing the interception. They tried to get tricky, but Rucker Furlow says, ah, ah, and picks them off. So the offense set up with some solid field here. It's first to 10, three wide. Swords is put out to the right. Cameron's going to the air. He'll roll right. Set his feet. Loads up and goes deep. He hits Walker downfield, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Red Hawks. 64 yards to the crib. Look at this throw from Gabbard. Three people in his face, and it's just a dot. That safety did not stand a chance to the crib. Woo! Defense forced to turn turnover their last drive. Looking for another one here, first to 10. McDonald goes three wide. He'll drop back. Woo! Rucker Furlow almost had his second pick. Great jump on that ball by Jadon. It's third and 10. Falcons one of three on third down today. Trips left. McDonald's in the gun. He'll drop back. Pressure gets to him, but he gets rid of it to Patterson for six. And Ivan Pace says, uh-uh, fourth down. That's McDonald's first completion today. Boswell back deep again to return another punt. He'll start right this time. Cuts it back to the left. Turns the corner. Makes a move. Oh, that was a block in the back, wasn't it? No, he'll take 34 yards on that return. Look at Brett Gabbard today. Perfect so far. 228 yards. This Red Hawks offense set up with a short field again. It's first to 10, three wide. Walker slot right. But it's a handoff to Bester. He'll find some running room on the right and pick up seven. That might be his best run of the day. Second and three. We come out with trips to the left. It's back to the ground with Bester. He'll cut it upfield and pick up six, and that's another Red Hawks first down. Under three left to go here in the half is first and ten. We'll go four wide. Gabbard under center. And a handoff to Bester. Yo, 65 missed his block there. He was supposed to get the linebacker, and Nary gets the tackle. Second and 11. We'll go I form twins right. And it's Bester on the handoff. Nobody blocks. Nobody blocks. And Devon Ferguson makes the TFL. It's third and 12. Red Hawks are four of five on third down. Gabbard goes to the pistol, four wide, trips right. It's going to the air. Oh, bad throw. Bad throw, almost picked off. Way to break it up, Deshaun Jones. Fourth down. And Coach Vic Johnson sends on the field goal team. This is Nicholson from 43. The kick is up, and the kick is good. He splits the uprights. Time for a studio update up in Central Michigan. Ball State up on top, 10 to seven. You got Plitt with a touchdown pass to Hall. Defense back on the field. McDonald comes out four wide in the gun. He'll drop back, move around in the pocket. Throw, oh my gosh. Connects with Kinsey. He'll make the grab for 18, first down. This ball should have been picked off. Boswell didn't get his head around fast enough. Under a minute and a half left to go in the half. McDonald comes out in the gun, three wide. He'll bring his tight end in motion to the right. It's a pass. He sneaks outside, there's nobody home. McDonald breaks the tackle and falls ahead to pick up the first, that's 10 yards. You gotta seal that edge, fellas. First and 10. Falcons driving with three wide. pass and Ertl is there to make the sack that's his second one on the day second and 15 three wide for McDonald bringing his tight end in motion to the right and McDonald sneaks out a lot of running room he'll break a tackle and pick up 17 for the first oh Ivan Pace couldn't get there fast enough and Sullipeg just bounced right off of the big QB first and 10 Donald under center with three wide. He'll bring his man in motion to the right. That's Embry. And it's a draw. 
They can make the play. Patterson gets tackled after picking up eight. It's third and two. McDonald under center, three wide. Every slot right. Play action. He's rolling. He decides to take off, but he can't because Ivan Pace lays the hit for the TFL. Great job by the linebacker as a spy. And he comes down and lays the boom on the quarterback. All right, fourth down. The field goal team comes on for the Falcons. The kick is up. And he pushed it right. The kick is no good. We catch a break, and the shutout stays alive. And what a first half. Our Red Hawks on top big, 31-0. Pitching a complete shutout. Welcome back to Jaeger Stadium, where our Miami, Ohio Red Hawks up big, 31-0 on the Bowling Green Falcons. It has been an absolute dominating game for Miami. Uh, Brett Gabbert, I believe, has three incomplete passes, uh, and he's just picking apart this Falcons off or this Falcons secondary uh, on defense for the Red Hawks. They're bringing pressure and forcing turnovers. They're pitching a shutout, and let's see if they can keep this going here in the second half. Taking a look at the first half stats, and it just shows how dominating this game has been for the Red Hawks. 262 yards through the air. Only problem is 22 rushing yards. You got to find a way to get this run game going here in the second half. Time of possession, we've doubled what the Falcons have. It's just a great game so far. Great game plan from Coach Johnson and his coaching staff. Let's see if they can keep it going here in the second half. Start of the second half, Bowling Green comes out with three wide. They bring their tight end in motion to the left. And it's a pass for McDonald. He'll try to go up the middle. He does find some running room and slides down after picking up six. The defensive line is swarming right now. Second and four. McDonald goes to the gun, trips right. Oh, let's go. Yes, sir. Big Cam Butler gets the sack, and he sets the single-season sack record for Miami of Ohio with number 14 on the season. So the sack makes it third and 11. McDonough goes trips right. He's got Patterson next to him. It's a screen. Woo, almost picked off by Cam Butler. Fourth down. Great play by the DN reading the play. Offense takes over for the first time here in the second half. We're going to go to the gun. Four wide trips right. Mosey's in the backfield. He'll take the handoff, cut it up on the left, and pick up six. Like we mentioned, only 28 rushing yards in the first half. Need more production here in the second. Second and four. Gabbard's going to empty the backfield five wide. He brings Bester in motion. He'll take the sweep, cut it upfield, up the middle, and picks up seven. That's a first down. First and ten. Falcons showing blitz on the left. Three wide for the Red Hawks. It's a handoff for Mosey. He'll break to the outside, try to make a move on the corner. He gets spun down after picking up eight. Second and two. Fester checks back in with three wide. He'll take the counter out to the left. Break a tackle. Stumble ahead. Gets three. That's a first down. Way to keep your balance there, Bester. Coming up on five and a half left to go in the third. It's first to ten. Three wide. Walker slot right. Gabbard's going to hand it off to Bester. He's going to try to extend it out to the right, but gets tackled by number seven. Great play. Jalen gets three. Third and five. Four wide trips right. Sorensen split out to the left. Red Hawks four of seven on third down today. Looking to keep the drive alive, and they are. Sorensen makes the grab, and he gets tackled down at the two. First and goal, Red Hawks. Six catches, 70 yards today for the senior. All right, first and goal. We stay in the same formation. And it's Hester on the, on the Bester on the handoff. He goes straight up the middle, gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Red Hawks. Way to pound the rock and get some points on the board. Time for another studio update. And SMU pulls off the upset of our rival Cincinnati. Mustangs quarterback threw two touchdown passes on the day. 26-21 is the final. It's kind of like baseball. You don't want to talk about it, but the defense pitching the shutout right now. First to 10, three wide. Here comes a tight end motion to the right. McDonald's going to the air. No, he's not. He's going to tuck it and run. He'll go up the middle and fall forward to pick up 11. That's a first. We've got to wrap this kid up. Under four left to go in the third. It's first to 10. McDonald's going to empty the backfield five wide. It's a pass. 
He's got Rodgers on the outside. He'll break a tackle and fight ahead to pick up 13. That's a first. Matt McDonald, three of nine for 37 yards today. It's first and 10. They come out three wide. He's under center. It's another pass. Ooh, dangerous ball. Singleton wraps bench up after he picks up four. Defense looking for another stop right here. Second and six, four wide. Watch the screen out here to the left. Play action. McDonald's going to tuck it and run. He sheds a tackle. That's Ivan Pace. He broke Ivan Pace's tackle, and he gets nine. This kid is strong. It's first and ten now. Four wide for McDonald in the gun. He does the butt tap. He's got Kinsley or Kinsey on the slant for 15. That's a first. This is the best drive so far for the Falcons today. First and ten. They go two tight ends to the left. Twins right. Pitch. Come on, Furlow. Makai Miller makes the dive and tackle after Patterson gets five. So after the run, second and five. They go two tight ends, twins right. Option. Oh, Phelps with the big hit on McDonald, and he loses four. That is what you call a man hit. Sheesh. It's third and nine. The Falcons, one of six on third down today. They come out with three wide. Tight end comes in motion to the right. It's a pass. And that's a first down. Kinsey on the play. Furlow undercut the route, but couldn't get his hands up in time. It's first and goal for the Falcons. Their best drive of the day by far. They go four wide, trips right. And it's a run for Patterson straight up the middle, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Bowling Green. Shutout over. Bowling Green cuts the lead down to 31 with their best drive of the day. Got a minute 34 left to go here in the third. Gabbard in the pistol, three or four wide trips right. We're going back to the ground with Besser. He'll take the ball straight up the middle, makes a move, and picks up nine. Feel like the Red Hawks are doing a better job running the ball here in the second half. It's second and one, three wide. Back to the ground with Bester. He'll get the edge, cut up field. That's a first down. He'll get three. So after the drop, it's second and ten. We'll go trips to the right. Bester comes out in motion to the left. Gabbert going to the air. And he's got Bester wide open downfield. He goes up and snags it, and they won't catch him. Touchdown, Red Hawks. Great play design by Coach Johnson. Bester wide open downfield. Nobody within 20 yards of him, and we extend our lead. All it took was four plays and 71 yards. And Miami goes back up on top by 38. All right, start of the fourth. McDonald in the gun four wide. They're going to try to set up the screen. This time he makes the grab. Patterson does, and he'll get four. Butler brings him down. Third and six. Red Hawks playing the pass. McDonald drops back. What a play by Trevon Booker. Going full extension to knock it away. Fourth down. And Bowling Green electing to go for it with 7.27 left to go in the fourth. Trips left for McDonald in the gun. Drops back. Gets rid of it. And it's an out of bounds. Woo, that was a dangerous throw, man. That almost got in there. But he could not get a foot in bounds. Turnover on downs. It's been that kind of day for the Falcons. It's first and ten. Trips right. Gabbert's in the gun. He drops back. Here comes a blitz. He'll roll out. Set his feet. He's got hip and hammer. He'll make the grab. And it's first and goal. Red Hawks, 38 yards for Mack. The blitz almost got home, but hip and hammer turns his route upfield. Gabbert saw him just in time. And what a throw and what a run after the catch. First and goal. Ball at the nine. We go four wide. Trips right. Hip and hammer split out to the left. Going to the air. Get out of there, Brett. All the way to the house. Brett Gabbard, touchdown, Red Hawks. From 10 yards out, the QB shows off the mobility, avoiding a defender, diving at his feet, and there was nobody there to tackle him. We break 50. This Miami team is impressive. Handling business against a Bowling Green squad that, has, that was beat up. Winning 59 to 7. 
I'm going to say it again, man. Brett Gabbert might be the best quarterback that nobody has ever heard of. He is putting up insane numbers every week. And his defense seems to be playing better and better. That's nine in a row. They're going to look at the stats on the day. Brett finishes 17 of 22 for 376 yards, four touchdowns, no turnovers today. He completed 77% of his balls and was sacked once on the day. Ground game, solid. 17 carries, 48 yards, and two touchdowns for Jalen Vester. Uh, Keon Mosey had 12 carries, 48 yards, and a touchdown as well. You had Gabbert with five yards and a touchdown, and it may have rushed for 20 yards in cleanup. Out wide, wide receivers did a great job running routes today. Jack Sorensen, six grabs, 70 yards and a touchdown. Kevin Davis, three catches for 69 yards. Jalen Bester, two catches, 74 yards and a touchdown. Jalen Skywalker, two grabs, 78 yards and a touchdown. I mistakenly gave Davis the touchdown instead of Walker earlier, but that was Walker on that route, that deep route. Uh, you had Andrew Homer, two catches, 31 yards in the touchdown. Hip and Hammer, two catches for 54 yards. And Mosey had one for nine. Defensively, I felt like we did a solid job containing the passing game. Uh, this Bowling Green squad is more of a running team. Uh, McDonald did get out of the pocket and had some big plays. But all in all, we did a solid job. Ivan Pace led the way with six tackles. Uh, also had a sack. Mike Brown had four tackles. So did Booker. Bolden, Boswell, Phelps. Kimson, Miller, and uh, Solipek each had three tackles. Did get some TFLs today, led by Lonnie Phelps in cleanup. He had three TFLs. Ertl had two, and then he had a gang of other guys with one. QB pressure department, Ertl with two sacks. Robinson had a sack, so did Butler, Phelps, and Ivan Pace. And then we had the one interception from Rucker Furlow. Another win for our Red Hawks. We stay hot, 9-0 on the season, getting ready for our, te our toughest test of the year. Let's take a look around college football. We mentioned this game earlier, Mississippi State upsetting Texas A&M 24 to 22. Even though Texas A&M tried to battle back in the fourth, putting up 12 points. Talk about an offensive struggle in Maryland. They pull it out 13 to 12 with a field goal in the fourth quarter. It's a disaster in Columbus right now. Michigan State 42 to 12 over the Buckeyes. Big congratulations to the New Mexico Lobos getting their first win of the season over Air Force 28 to six. Florida hangs 63 points on Vandy. Let's take a look at our season stats. Brett Gabbard having one of those breakout years. 2,881 yards through the air, 26 touchdowns with seven interceptions. He's uh, averaging 320 yards per game, completing 69% of his balls this year. On the ground, even though the run game has been very pedestrian, Bester still has 549 yards and 12 touchdowns. Shout out to the freshman, Keon Mosey. He has 297 yards and nine scores. Uh, Gabbert, as a runner, he's got 74 yards and four touchdowns. Out wide, I think our receiving group is starting to separate themselves as some of the best receivers in this conference. Jack Sorensen, 50 catches, 876 yards and 11 touchdowns. He is at the top of the Bolitnikoff awards list right now. Uh, then you have Andrew Homer at tight end, 37 grabs for 651 and five scores. Mac Hippenhammer, 28 catches, 513 and three scores. You got Jalen Best, 20 catches for 341 and four scores. Jalen Skywalker, 19 catches, 393 and four scores. Uh, Keon Mosey, 15 catches, 160 yards and a touchdown. And Kevin Davis, eight catches, 212 and a score. Where I've been most impressed, though, is on the defensive side of the ball, uh, especially in the past few games. These boys have really stepped up and played a great game for the Red Hawks, a great couple of games for the Red Hawks. Ivan Pace leading the way with 56 tackles. You got uh, Matthew Solopec with 37 tackles. Cedric uh, Boswell has 34. Cameron Butler having a breakout season, 34 tackles on the year. Uh, Trevin Booker, uh, a corner with 25. Sterling Weatherford has 25 as well. You got Makai Miller with 23. Uh, Javon Kipson has 22. Jadon Rucker Furlow with 20. Ryan McWood has 20 as well. Kimpler has 18. Uh, Mike Brown with 14. Ertl has 14. Collier has 13. Bolden has 11. You got Lonnie Feltz with 10. And Camden Rogers has 7. Taking a look at the QB pressure department, Cameron Butler leads the country with 14 sacks, which is a team record. 
Austin Earl has five. Kempler with four. You got Dominique Robinson. He has three. So does Ivan Pace. Phelps, who's a great backup for the squad. He's got two sacks. So does Collier. And Solopec has a sack as well. Interception department. Only six picks on the season. Uh, two for Jadon Rucker Furlow. Two for Boswell. And two for Makai Miller. And you know what, man? That's all we really need. These boys are flying to the ball, making plays. It's been an impressive season thus far for our Red Hawks. And we got to keep it going. And would you take a look at that? The Miami, Ohio Red Hawks in the top 25 in at number four after winning their ninth straight game. But up next has is probably going to be the game of the year in the MAC. We're traveling to Kent State to take on the nine and one Golden Flashes. This game we've had circled for a couple weeks now. We are the two best teams in the MAC. Winner is going on to the MAC championship. We'll see what happens on the field.